I got a call from the government. Okay, and what? They said you're out here filming. Okay, big deal. Like it. As a police officer, I constantly live in fear that I might be filmed brutalizing a civilian. What if I escalate the situation and they pull a phone on me and the footage lands on YouTube? Something like that could end a career in seconds. It's something you know from the time you're a cadet. The slightest civil rights infraction in front of anyone who's looking, and the next thing you know, you're surrounded by cameras and trending on Twitter. No cop should have to worry about that. Practically every precinct I know has somebody serving desk duty just for acting on deeply rooted prejudices when somebody had a recording device on them. It happened to my partner, and it even happened to our own captain. One day, he's just kicking an unarmed pedestrian in the ribs when all of a sudden people with cameras are everywhere, and then they just start shooting what he was doing, all six minutes of it. I can't help but think sometimes that could have been me ending up at that desk job. You never know which day of total impunity will be your last, but for a cop, that's just our daily reality. I have family in law enforcement, and I've got family that are black, blue, yellow, green. The world is like this today because of ignorant people like you. Okay. This is what I care about. You have to have the help of citizens, and you have to be involved with the citizens and, and get their feedback on what they're wanting, what they're looking for. And we all try to work for the common goal so that we're working together with everything. And that's what we want to do. Wonderful group here tonight. problems for us doing our job because people like you make people think that they could be famous on YouTube so when you put this on the internet hey internet just we're out here we help people you, you should be ashamed of this man right here who tries to paint us as the bad people you gotta give me some information on who you live you just can't come up here with no camera Stop talking, we're talking. I, I promise you, you can't make me stop talking. Okay. I'll talk if I want. You're if you want to be, no, interference, interfering with I'm going to tell you what I told them. Interference okay. is an obstruction. Don't put your hands on me. I promise you. You better fucking stop. You're going to pull your taser for what? Yes. For no what? Way. No, you don't you scare me or intimidate. You're interfering Listen, with our discussion with him. I dare you to shoot me. You are interfering with our discussion. Interference right is now, a so physical stop. thing. Am I being physical? Yeah, that's right. Put it back up, bitch. And when your constitution, yeah. you can stick it. When you're right in the middle of my traffic stop, I have to ask you to wait over there, please. Gentlemen, you are right in the middle of my traffic stop. I have to ask you to wait right over there, please. You are physically interfering with my ability to do my job. Like I said, you know, you're just exercising your right, and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? But, you know, some people, especially down here in the South, I'm just going to tell you, they don't like it. Do you have any questions for me? Yes, where's my pistol and where's my knife? Already ran. He's clear. He's got a uh, LTC. Or he's got an expired LTC. He's carrying under con constitutional carry. You family or? I'm the news. News? Yes, sir. I, and I'm a citizen. And I, you know, I, I respect our vet. Okay, I'm not saying you don't. I am not. Interfering is a physical. Interfering is physical, sir. You need to look up the law. I can't verbally interfere. So I can physically interfere, but look, I'll back up. You need to look up on the law on interfering. I wish you'd stop being so good to me, Captain. Don't you ever talk that way to me. Never! Never! What we've got here is failure to communicate. Some men you just can't reach. And I don't like it any more than you me. That don't sound much like news. That sounds like advocacy. You make it more f***ing difficult for anybody to do their damn job out here. Because you suckers start it press the issue we'll find out i'll hook you book you jam you in the jail then you can answer to a goddamn judge don't tell me that i can't either because i do it every day and i arrest people every day for it that'd be a pretty horrible deal to carry the man for jail he's over 80 years old sir 
I heard you say you could. That'd be horrible for a vet. He's a veteran, sir. See, they even want to threaten me. Interference of physical getting in the way. And cops, if they'd spend as much time on the law library as they did on the gun range, they'd know that. make yourself and other cops even look more stupid than you already freaking look. This is why people don't trust the cops. This is why we don't support you. This is why we don't want to fucking be around you. Meanwhile, when you're not doing this, you're out there harassing people, traffic stops, giving them tickets, writing tickets, raising insurance, wasting taxpayer money and dollars on everything because you don't care. It ain't your freaking money. Absolutely outrageous. Earning a hate. Yeah, he's... Okay, here's the deal. All right? Guy born in 1941. He and his wife are sitting on the curb there, sitting on the brick wall, waiting for the driver's license office to open. Okay. Well, our uh, county commissioner coordinator's office is right there, okay? So she sees him go behind the air conditioner, drop trowel, take a dump right behind the air conditioner. Scott. So she calls us, I come over, sure enough, there's a big old pile of shit out there, you know, and I ask him about it. I ask him about it. I've already ran him, he's clear. He's got a uh, LTC, or he's got an expired LTC, he's carrying under con constitutional carry, the gun is in his little uh, box on his. Um, I ask him about it, he says, I went over to 76, they said they don't have a uh, restroom. So, I'm, however old he is, 70 something years old. When I got to go, I got to go. I said, why don't you get on your motorcycle and ride down to the next store? You don't understand. When it's time to go, it's time to go. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you should probably stay at the house if that's the case then, I guess. Yep. Okay. Well, first thing is we need to get the gun off of him. Okay. I mean, he's legally carrying it. Chief Farmer. Uh, okay, hey, while we talk, can I take your gun off of him? Let him get it. Let him get it. It doesn't come off. You can take it out. Yeah, I'm going to take it, okay? You want me to take it for him? Who are you? My wife. Okay. Let the officer hold on to while we're talking to him, okay? I don't want to. In fact, if you want to go put it in the back of our car until we get done, just put it in the hatch back there. Okay, let me see it. Got a mag release or anything?
So uh, you want to tell me your your side of what happened? I think this is obviously the most ridiculous thing I've heard of in a long time. I walked across the street to get some ice in my water and to go to the bathroom. They don't have a bathroom. I remembered after I got over there, they haven't had a bathroom over there for years. By the time I walked back... I walked all the way around and there's nothing over there. I actually walked out of the back to see if I could get in this building, but I couldn't. When I got that far, there's no place to go. I wasn't going to get any further without crapping my pants. So I took a dump. It's not the first time it's ever happened, and it's not the last time either. I'm sorry it had to be there, but that's all there is to it. Look, unfortunately, sir, you can't do that at that Well, public. just write me a ticket and let's get on with it. Okay. If that's what it's got to be, just do it and let's get on. Okay. All right. Where where was it at? Back through here? Yeah, the other side of the uh, air conditioning unit. Okay. Hello. Did you see him doing that? Yeah, I have video. Want me to burn it? Come here, I'll show you. Okay. Okay, so I see him walking around. Mm -hmm. He comes to, it's always Dorm tries to get in. He comes to my door and tries to get in. He walks back around and moves him. And he goes right over here and drops him proceeds to take care of his business. And I was like, seriously, am I really seeing this? And then he pulls all his pants up and takes off. And goes and sits out on the wall. I haven't had him down here. Okay. You don't have any other weapons or anything on you? Pocket knife. You have a pocket knife? Okay. Uh, where's that at? In his pocket. Okay. Uh, you want it too? It. Yeah, just go ahead and get it. Too many Christmas. Do you know what time they open at? What? What time the office up here opens at? This thing opens at 8 o'clock. That's why we're here. You can't do anything without an appointment. You have to have done it online and filled out paperwork. Out. So this whole trip was useless. Is this your, your riding buddy out of here? Nope. He's just taking pictures of the bike. Yeah, there's some nice bikes. How long do no, y'all ride? taking pictures of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. How long do y'all ride? I just eight, seven, five. Do you usually take long rides all day? Or? Whatever comes up. I ride a whole lot more than she does. But, uh, yeah. I bought it to go places. We should make an annual trip down to Daytona. Been to Sturgis a couple of times. All out in the National Parks in Utah and Montana. You ride the white one or the no, blue one? The white one's hers, blue one's mine. Yeah, I believe they're open. Okay. Standing around doing nothing. She asked you a question, city code wise. Yeah, yeah. Is it is it legal to serve food in a sit down place and not have a, re a restroom? Is it legal to serve food in a restaurant and not have a sit down place where you can eat? I think serve that's food. A, that's probably a healthy. Yeah. 
Well, I'm sure it is. And see, the problem with Wood County is Wood County doesn't have a health department anymore. <laughs> of course, why not? Does anybody know what's going on? Uh, the chief is talking to the yeah. lady in the office there. And uh, soon, I guess as soon as he's done talking, then he'll, you know, the equipment officers will figure out what is going on. Yeah, he's going to talk to him. Uh, what's that? Get some, uh, the chief's going to talk to whoever it was that was in here. And uh, then we're going to come out and we'll get some more information and whatnot and see what we're going to do from there, okay? That's all we're doing. He says, I got a condition, voice. And I said, well, you, you should have went and found it. He goes, you don't understand. I can't. When I go, I'm going to mess in my pants. And I said, well. Why can't he go across the street to Calvin? He said, they didn't have a bathroom. He went over there. <laughs> so he said, well, uh, and he had, we, of course, took to, there's a guy out there that's recording everything. Yeah, I saw him standing. And uh, he said, just, just, you don't understand. I, I had to, I had to go somewhere immediately or I was going to crap on myself. Anyway, so, it's yeah. just the principal. That's not your public restroom. He should have found somewhere else. I'm not being difficult with the fact. Yes, people do have conditions, but. They said just. just I, I, I was going to probably take him to jail, but he don't look very healthy. And I don't know if jail, but I probably will probably, at bare minimum, write a citation for him doing that, make him clean up his crap. That's you know, is that good? That you? Just. It's nothing that deserves jail. But don't go crap behind someone's building if you don't know if they don't have cameras. Yeah. But no, I'll, I'll burn y'all video. Okay. Okay. Because I'm sure he's going to want to fight us on this, but I, have I don't know how. I, I, I don't. Yeah, even though there's no. You can't fight this. He can't, he can't, I kind of take it that he's that type of guy. Well, he doesn't understand, but there's cameras all over this square. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Literally, the square. You can't just slip in between a building and relate yourself. That's right. <laughs> and, uh... It's Friday. This is stuff that's supposed to happen on Monday. <laughs> and I'm just wondering if he has had an injury or something at well, some point. He but he may be minus part of his colon. He may have colon cancer. It could be anything. Well, he's, he's got a cap on, and this guy here's this recording. I'm wondering if he's, if he, I don't know where he come from, but. Well, are they on the motorcycles? I'm not sure what, I, I'm not sure what I, they're on. But, I mean, I'm sure that he's got this hat on. It says Purple Heart recipient, da, da, da. Uh, you know, well, so, I mean, <laughs> and for my first thought was we just we just take him to the jail, but after, you know, health wise is probably not a good idea if he says he has a condition. Yeah. But yeah, clean up his mess. I don't care. Just don't. Come on. <laughs> yeah, if you'll burn that for me, I appreciate yeah, I'll it. I'll call you when I get it done. I'll uh, get a jump drive to get it done. He said I went over here. He said, there's nothing open, and his wife goes, we looked around everywhere, and he just, he said, I can't wait, and he went back there. And and so they can clean it up, and 
I guess we'll write a citation. Like I said, it, to me it's a jellable offense, but then again. Well. I, 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 I got to say, I've worked in law enforcement uh, for going on 34 years now, and uh, first time somebody's crept near a, a county building or, in fact, I don't on think. Video. On video. No, we know that they have. They crept on the courthouse state years ago. Did they? Yes. How long ago was that? that? Yeah, I remember when that happened. I didn't hear about it, I don't guess. No, I'm trying to remember who it was, and I don't even remember that. Oh, I don't know. What was his name? Glenn? Long, scraggly hair, was homeless-ish, sight case. Anyway, he was sleeping on the stoop on the park bench, and he crept on the stoop one day. That well, he's not denying that he'd done it. I mean, well, it, I, but I'm sure he'll be kind of guy that he that, won't agree with. Him. Yeah. So. Or he'll be harassed. Right. Yeah. Just thought it was going to be a decent Friday, but don't look that way. It's kind of crappy. Crappy. <laughs> Okay, thanks. Thanks, John. Well, Sorry to drag you into my mess. Should I tell him? No, I shouldn't tell him that. Should I? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't tell him that. No, no. Oh, man. Y'all okay? Y'all okay? Are, we okay? Are you okay? Oh, yeah. He just had an emergency and had to go to the bathroom and nothing was open and he went and tried to hide and went to the bathroom and they got a gun or something. Well, he's got a permit to carry a gun. I thought I saw him arresting me, putting handcuffs on him when I pulled up. Yeah, I believe that. Okay. He's got a permit? Oh, yeah. And what he's is, a Vietnam vet. Well, I see that and I'm going to thank him for his services. What is. What are they trying to do to him? Public indecency, probably. I think what it is. What is I mean, you'd have to go back behind the building to find out. No, he's over the. Nothing was open. We were here early, quarter to eleven. He went across the street, walked around. I walked around every time. There was nothing open. Are they going to arrest him? Maybe they'll let him go with a camera. I've been over there all the time. Right. I saw that when I pulled up. Maybe, maybe with the camera watching them, they'll, sometimes they act different when a camera's yeah. on them. <laughs> no, they don't. It's a waste of, waste of public. A bit lot of crime, all the crime must be taken care of. Well, see, I can't, so they're probably going to go check, take a picture. Of course, why not? Place to go, you know? Well, nothing was open. Ma maybe over there. No, I don't know. They, 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 we know over there. Hey, he's an old vet. He's an emergency, and yeah. it ought to be, yeah. you know, cut somebody a break. And maybe they'll give he's him over one. 80. 80. He's over 80. He'll be The video. Well, I was going to pause the video just a second. Excuse me, man. I'm, I'm just trying to get by him. You're all right. Get his ID and scratch him out of the ticket. Okay. Who are we waiting on? At this point, you're waiting on a citation you're supposed to get for doing this, and then y'all going to have to clean this up. I understand you got a condition, sir, but you can't do this in public, okay? We could take you to jail. You realize that, right? Gomer, try to look at it from my side, will you? You see, you broke the law. Okay. Now, let me finish. <laughs> now, it's from little misdemeanors that major felonies grow. And it's my duty, it's anybody's duty, to stop them before they get too far. Now, the law must be upheld. 
Gomer, you'll be a better man if you'll try to think of us all working together for a common cause. Just say yeah, or just say yeah. Okay, I'm... Sir? That'd be a pretty horrible deal to carry the man for jail. He's over 80 years old, sir. I heard you say you could. That'd be horrible for a vet. He's a veteran, sir. And there was nothing open. I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm just trying to plead his case. Uh, okay. Let me talk to you, okay? I can't stop you from talking to him, but please, he's got, he's a vet. Please keep that in mind, please. I understand, sir, and I support veterans, okay? But I mean, at the same time, uh, I understand that you, you couldn't wait, so is, it, we'll, we'll, we'll write you a citation and just have y'all clean it up, okay? I'll go clean it up. He's an 80-year-old man. Stuff like that happens. Please give him a little bit of leeway. You've got that authority to give him a warning. I mean, it, it seems a little excessive. Your family or? I'm the news. News? Yes, sir. I, and I'm a citizen and I, you know, I, I respect our vet. Okay, I'm not saying you don't. I am not, interfering is a physical. Interfering is physical, sir. You need to look up the law. I can't verbally interfere. I can physically interfere, but look, I'll back up. You need to look up on the law on interfering. Please give him a break is all I'm asking you to do. See, they even want to threaten me. Interference of physical getting in the way. And cops, if they'd spend as much time on the law library as they did on the gun range, they'd know that. You can't give him a warning, sir? Sir, you can't give him a warning? Times are hard right now. Money's hard to come along. Please give him a warning. We'll clean it up. I'll clean it up. Y'all could clean it up. I'll clean it up. It ain't our job to pick up poop. Do you know this man, sir? Do you know who he is? No, I don't. Please give him a warning and I'll be quiet. Can I get your name, sir? Thank you. Thank you for your service, sir. I understand. You know, I, I, I had parents and, and they had issues too and everything but you but since you since you've done it right there on video and everything you know and on video yeah yeah this whole place they, is they got video camera and everything so are you the chief Nice to meet you, Chief. Michael Neighbors. I'm with Lone Star News. I've talked to you on the phone a few times. I'm not trying to be your adversary. Deputy, what is your name? Yes, sir. Stephen Fulls. 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 Our talk on the phone, Chief, you said you were what I hope you are, and I hope you show me now, if ever you did. That is a veteran right there, 80 years old. What, who did he harm? Please do the right thing. Times are tough. There's a veteran sitting there on the bricks. He's over 80. Please take all that in consideration.
You want to walk out here with me to the vehicle, sir? Is that your motorcycles? Y'all's motorcycles? Yeah, they're. Okay. And you're just here to get to. I'm sorry. Y'all here to get some license or? Yeah, she was going to. But okay. She just. We just found out she had to have an appointment. Come up here. She didn't have her uh, birth certificate with her anyway, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, give me just a minute, okay? I've talked to this chief before. He says he's. Uh, Nothing but helpful for the public, the kind of chief we want. So this will be the perfect example if we can find that out. Thank you for your services, sir. This guy here's with the, uh, he's got some kind of, I don't know what he's got, he's got Facebook or something. But uh, if you if you want uh, if you want me to take it over there and let him sign it. We have a complainant, so, yeah, you know. I figured when I pulled up, I wasn't going to make an arrest on this thing. Yeah. Just because he's, he's eight. Yeah. And, I mean, we could always see. You know, the problem is. Let's get it and get it done. Okay. We've got the police chief over here. I hope he is speaking with his officer and maybe give this guy a warning. <laughs> this man, according to his female lady with him, uh, says he's over 80. He's a veteran. And he had a little incident this morning when none of the stores was open and the police are saying they're going to write him a citation. We'll see what happens. They're going to write him a ticket for disorderly conduct, guys. Shameful. Shameful. Chief said he could carry him to jail. Boy, that looked good. Questions for me? Yes, where's my pistol and where's my knife? Chief could have used his discretion, but he didn't do it. Disgraceful. Yes, sir, thank you. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. No, 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 hold on, man. What'd you write it for? Decent exposure. On disorderly conduct. Okay, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. yep.
Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. No, 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 no. What'd you write it for? Decent exposure. On disorderly conduct, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yep. Uh, for indecent exposure, this needs your signature. It's not a plea of guilt. Just stay in contact court on or before the date listed above your signature. driver's license back to you okay as well as a copy of the citation with a court date it's going to be the 11th of august you can just contact them on or before that date that back letter there is going to be a courtesy letter providing you with our court information as well as how you can contact them with a phone number and address okay you have any questions for me yes where's my pistol and where's my knife yes sir i can get those back to you if you'll give me just you want a second, you, okay? you want to walk this out here is 881 that's a good contact number for you no. Okay, what's a good Yeah, you just wait right here for a second. He'll get it for you. That's the chief right there. He told me, boy, he's he's upstanding. He's uh, all about citizens and the people. And oh, they disarmed him too, huh? That's your pistol. Here's your with your bullet that was in the Put point it down, sir. Yeah, just keep it pointed down for our safety. Hang on to it, just say. I know it goes back in there, it just keeps. Appreciate all your cooperation. Don't okay? uh -oh. get that for him, Jefferson. Thank you, Nancy. Appreciate your cooperation. You have a good day. Y'all gave him a ticket? Yes, sir. Man, don't y'all have some leeway where you can discrepancy? He done it right there in it. Where? Right over there. In the back? Over where's cameras over there, sir. Did any, was there any visibility for anybody to see that before any of these places was open? The man has an incognizance problem, according to his wife. And if he does, he can take it to the court and tell them, and they'll probably cut him some slack, okay? Sir, but but they, there was a lady in there that... Somebody saw him? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's a little bit different. So, I mean, if he'll go and talk to the judge, maybe, and tell him he's got some issues with his stomach, then she might cut him some slack on everything. Well, it ain't with a stomach, you know. If you got old parents, it's, it's, it's incognizant. I mean, is a ticket going to fix that problem? Is a little money and time? I mean, he didn't mean for nobody to see him. He didn't hide it all? You don't think? I didn't see where he did it. Did you go see where he did it? I don't guess he's going over and kind of cleaning it up or anything. Where is it? It's on that. Did yeah, I think you go you see it? No, I hadn't. I mean, I, saw the I, I seen the video, yeah. We need police. Thank but, you. Uh, there's some police in our county and other counties that we do not need. We need some place.
But when something happens and it's on video and we have a witness to it, you know. And I'm not armed if y'all want to. I'm never armed. If you ever see me, I'm too old to be armed. Yeah, it's gonna be a white I'm armed with a video sure. camera sometimes. Oh, yeah. Sometimes that hurts more careers than a weapon does. Yeah, sometimes it does. I've seen it do it. But it doesn't hurt good police. It just hurts the bad ones. Wow, camera right above my head. That's a... Yes, sir. Okay. I've got to run to Tyler. I've got to meet with the, an attorney down there. And in about an hour, I come back. That thing's still there. I will clean it up. We appreciate it. Where are you from, Mr. I'm, Gatewood? I'm sure, the, I'm sure the office here appreciates it. I'm from the Silver Springs area. Well, maybe that's where uh, you ever worked at Emory? I'm not. There's some other Gatewoods, I think. Police officers, aren't there? Do you know uh, of any more? Not that I know of. I just. I, uh, my mom got remarried, and I ended up with getting a different last name as Gatewood. You're a you was raised around here, weren't you, Chief? Mm -mm. You weren't. No. I see the Please. resemblance in the what was it, the brother or the cousin or something? That, uh, I knew that we talked about on the phone that you. From my brother Terry. Or? Terry. Yeah, yeah, I see some resemblance. Please don't ever think I'm against y'all. As long as I'm doing the right thing, I think we saw the right thing <laughs> close to it. I know you probably have nearly have to be on video again. Yes, sir. So I'm not your enemy at this point. And I'd like well, I'm, not, I'm not yours either. I'd like to keep it that way. Um, I'm, I'm just, So please know. don't walk away from this instant thinking I'm a bad guy. Oh, I don't think you're a bad guy. Okay. I'm just trying to expose the bad stuff that needs exposed. And... But sometimes, the, sometimes folks don't have all the whole story. Yes, sir. That's you know. why I asked to talk to you afterwards to turn the camera off. I've got the whole story now. Yes, sir. Thank you, right. All I right. I think we should have let him go, but I can say where you can. That's just my opinion. I can say where you can ticket him up. What's the ticket on that? What's the price? I don't know about the top of my head. What is it? Dis disorderly? Yeah. See, that's going to be in the hundreds, I bet, ain't it? Well, if he... Y'all wrote tickets for disorderly before, hadn't you? Mm-hmm. But I... We don't, I mean, I don't keep up with what, what it costs. It's, it's changed over the years. In leaving here, uh, obstruction, Chief, please look that up. That's a physical. I, I've retired about that. I didn't say obstructing. I said interfering. Interfering. You're trying to talk while well, I'm trying to talk to him. So I take my eyes off of him and take, put them well, on you. got another officer here, but interfering is He wasn't physical. then. He was in the vehicle. Let, please listen. Interfering is physical. My verbal cannot interfere with your... It might if I'm up this close. If I had to look at look up at somebody else talking while I'm taking my eyes off him. I'll beat it in court every day. Okay, well you you know. Look, please look up interfering. Interfering is a, a physical. I didn't say like, okay. I said you're interfering. I didn't say you're, you're doing you're doing this against the law. Verbally can't interfere. No, you, I'm said interfering. Not okay. I'm not talking about criminal law. Well, when I see uniforms, when I hear stuff come out of y'all's mouth, I'm thinking y'all are basing what you're saying on law. I said you're interfering. I didn't say you could be picked up for interfering okay. or whatever. I believe you. Okay. But I just wanted you to know it. Right. I can speak all I want to without the... That, but you were distracting me away from him. Not my problem. You shouldn't yeah. have paid that much attention to me. Ask this officer to watch me and you could have continued, but you can't threaten me and I'm not saying you did. I didn't. But in the future, you can't threaten me with interference or obstruction by my words. You can by my distance to you, but you can't. It's a physical thing, it's interfering. But I appreciate it. I think we got out, out of here on a pretty good note. Nice to meet both of you. Well, you have a good day. Thank you, sir. Don't get too hot. And I will talk to our judge about him. Please do. He's a damn man. He's one of the reasons we got the right to stand there and talk like I'm talking to you today. He, he risked his life. I'm sure he didn't go do that because he thought I'll go over here and do a disturbance. He had to do it.
You but you, if they call me, you gonna, I'm, I'm gonna tell them you you gonna come back and clean it, <laughs> clean it up. Yeah. Okay. okay. Tell them I'll be back in about maybe an hour and a half. I'd like for them to. I mean, they're. There ought to be somebody around here to clean it up. How about the dog catcher? Anybody don't clean no stuff like that up that we pay? There ought to be somebody around here to clean it up. How about the dog catcher? Anybody don't clean no stuff like that up that we pay? We are the dog catcher. Well, it's not really an animal control issue. Well, I understand. But if y'all don't want to clean it up, I promise you, when I come back through town, I'll swing by here. Do you want to tell them if they see me back there, I'm cleaning it yeah, up? Yeah, I'll call them. I'll call them. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. You think they might have any kind of uh, a scraper or something? Or in, there, in there? No. Um, I may have something at the office there. Well, when I come back by, I'll look and see if I got anything in. Hey, what if you got somebody sitting one of your over here and maybe sit it five feet away from that? When I, I don't want to grab it with my hands, of course. Well, there's a container back there or something. Well, just an empty container back there, I think. The, the little container back there laying on the ground? I something to keep from touching feces with my hands. I can get a bag or something, you know, and place it back there close. Mm -hmm. When I come back there, would you rather me come to the place office? Just come here. I'll just call them and tell them if you're going to come, okay? All right, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you need some gloves? <laughs> Probably. Here we go. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet y'all. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now I'm fixing to stop for jaywalking. He went to law school. So he was distracting me over there, and he kept talking to me. I said, you're interfering while I'm talking to him. And, then, and he goes, that's not a crime, blah, blah, blah. And I, he kept saying it's not a crime. I, I didn't say it was a crime, did I? I said, you're interfering while I'm trying to talk to him. And whether he thinks it's a crime or ain't. Now I'm fixing to stop him for jaywalking. Red alert. Massive butter. Critical damage detected. Legal Shield offers access to experienced attorneys to assist you at a fraction of the cost that you would pay otherwise. The Legal Shield mobile app makes accessing legal services easier by putting a dedicated law firm in the palm of your hand. Legal protection is just a tap away with the Legal Shield mobile app.
you know, that's all, folks.